See me struggling to get uh, some clips off. And good morning, everyone. So we are back again here at Amazon site. Uh, again, off a dual mass flywheel and a clutch kit on their van. Uh, I don't know how these drivers drive, man. Honestly, it's 71 plate. Like, drive it like they stole it. Yeah, probably. Have you seen the, their vans? Look. Look at it. Look at the roof on that one. How do you manage to do that? Do you know what I mean? But anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to be replacing clutch dual mass flywheel. Today, we are here with Curbside. Uh, follow his Instagram right here. It's going to be right here, over his head as well. There you go. But yeah, uh, give him a follow. We'll run a time lapse. Let's see if we can strip this faster than when me and my brother works on this. We'll see. Oh, come on, let it go, that's it. <laughs> Oh when a 30 second job <laughs> takes two hours. I've had my go as well, mate. Whacking it, full whack. It just doesn't want to let it go. Shall we yeah. try and lever it down at the same time? Yeah. The fire had to come out because this one was a stubborn one. Look at the state of that control arm. We tried everything and then it just it listened to the heat, <laughs> thankfully. But yeah. Kobe, what are you on now, mate? Uh, what am I on? I'm on the starter motor. Start bolt. All right, cool. I'm gonna try and get the drive shafts out. So John's taking out this uh, drive shaft over here now. Kobe, I don't know what he's working on. Uh, just the there. gearbox bolts. Gearbox bolts, and uh, after the gearbox bolts, everything else is free, right? Well, I think so. Is there any up the top there? I'll have a look. Let's see. Yeah, yeah man, that's, you're, that's you're looking good. the gearbox thing. That's looking good already. Yeah, let's just hang this so that it doesn't get in our way later on the way out. I'm like, why is it so bright here? And I see a Milwaukee torch. Oh, mate, you're just rich, in it, Kobe? In it? <laughs> That's really nice. I was like, whoa, there's a sun ray under here. blind, mate. That's all it is. That's nice, man. That's nice. I need one of that. That's all that's left. Sleep cylinder. Kobe, that's pretty quick. I can't lie. If you've got the 90, that would be better. Need it to swing up and then out. Where is it? Just make sure these don't cut through. Uh, take this off, John. Look at that teamwork. Yeah. It's a dream work. Right. Let's make the dream work. Let's go. Anything at the top, John? Might be cutting me now. Hold on, let me get this. Do you want me to get it? This out. Okay. Oh yeah, that flywheel. Swing up. Run wires. Wires. Yeah, yeah that's wires. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Lift up, lift up. Lift up. Yeah, good. There you go. Yeah, you yeah look at that. What are we looking at? The flying one. Is it on ignition? <laughs> How do they drive this, man? Look. I didn't even get that. Huh. Well, they're ready to go. Yeah, man. I think you should, you should let us do that, man. Just play extra, do you know what I mean? Isn't it? All on the same back. Yeah, exactly. Over here. Right. Flywheel, clutch, and gearbox out. Just giving it a bit of a clean up, all the brake dust. Brand new second hand kit. <laughs> <laughs> Make it look like brand new. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice to have you here, Kobe. Yeah, it's good, mate. Yeah, man. Good day out. Yeah, no. With the boys. 
So here we are guys with a Valio concentric slave cylinder paired with an LUK clutch kit and dual mass flywheel. As you know, we do not settle for less, we only fit the best. So we have to make sure that this van stays on the road for as long as possible knowing that it could only last possibly a year or two with these drivers. So yeah, let's go on, carry on, let's get it fitted, let's go. Do that, rotate that a little bit. Give it a good hip thrust, put it up there, there you go, nice and easy mate. One second, let me just line up the dowel, alright, yeah, okay John, push, up, yep, yep, yep. yeah she's in, woo hoo, <laughs> why did you do this? <laughs> Look at this. Shout out to Bar Motor Works. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the mess. He loves a bit of mess. <laughs> Holy sh this is actually bad. This is actually but so how bad. Quick have we got it done? Yeah, that's true. That's Very, true. Quick. Yeah, now we got our Mackies. Oh, yeah, Mackies. <laughs> oh, Mackies. Oh, yeah. Callum the plug. We've got a microwave in the back of that now. Put it on the engine. Yeah. Have ya? No. Have ya? Oh yeah! No, we missed it mate! Plug! Right, so we have done this clutch job now, it just took us just... Just over an hour and a half it took us. Um, obviously including messing around. The guy over here mate, this guy, he is so quick. But anyway, we have done it. Another issue on the same van though is the power steering code. So they said that the they replaced the battery in this because it's been sat for six months so obviously it didn't turn on. Changed the battery, now the power steering doesn't work which is a bit odd so we'll find out what's wrong with that. Using King Building K7 of course. So let's have a look, let's find out. I don't know, we'll see. Can the King Bowden do online programming? Let's have a look. Continue. Did you get it? Yes. Ignition key on, engine off. Turn ignition to position zero. Okay. All right, let's see. It just downloaded the software, so. Did it? That's impressive. That is impressive. If it does it, it's good. Oh, so the King Bowling K7 actually done an online programming for a Ford, so that's good. There you go. Now we'll see if the steering rack will work because it said software. Yeah. Um, missing software, that's what it said. That's good, huh? So, let's see. Lovely. So, yeah, after the repair that we've done on the, um, on the steering rack, uh, we actually managed to program it in as well. So that's, that's all done now. Um, clutch kit and all of that is there. We've got to tidy up because look, <laughs> we've made We've made a massive mess, let's just say. The t-shirt is coming out, don't worry, all right? The t-shirt is coming out. Um, but anyway, uh, we're off to the next job now. That's all done, so... Yeah, we'll catch you in the next one. One second. Leave it, we almost forgot to fill up the bloody... Um, a gearbox. Fluid. It's because we started looking at the power steering. I blame, I blame Callum for that. I got too into it, you know? I really just wanted to test my King Bowling. <laughs> I'm just using Callum as an scapegoat, but yeah. Anyway, let's fill her up. Let's go. Oh. Put it straight in there by the vent. Pressurize the gearbox at 10 PSI. <laughs> cool. 
I'm just gonna take this around for a spin just to make sure that everything is okay clutch and the power steering obviously we don't have ABS and all sorts oh maybe it does now uh, that's likely because the power steering was fixed I'm just gonna take it around I need my mirrors take it around make sure that it's fixed totally fixed yeah that's perfect in my opinion yeah, can't lose that's lovely what's curbside let's run him over oh it's good done the job have we yeah we've done the job mate oh, that's, that's, fine. that's nice that's nice that's the one repair yeah that's <laughs> working hey happy days satisfied about that Oh, your English is not Englishing, is it? <laughs> what did you say, mate? I said it. Your English not Englishing. No, I said it. <laughs> like what I said, all right? Hyundai Tucson in for brake pads and disc all around. Um, obviously, we're going to be fitting our favorite Hadjit stuff because we like Paget. Kirby, yeah. what do you think of Paget, mate? Best. Yeah, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's, it's they're good, mate. That or Brembo, yeah. for me. Yeah, yeah. Don't fit anything else. Yeah, that's it, man. That's it. See? Um, so, yeah, we're going to be replacing that. And as you can see here, there is none left on the front. And I believe... Is there anywhere underneath? Rear as well is absolutely finish and a lot of lipping yeah we're gonna get that replaced let's go get it we're gonna put it on all fours and uh, tackle it as fast as we can by doing that so let's get to it Yeah. Right. Now, whilst you're here, yeah. copper grease and brake? Never. Never. Okay. Let them move. You come into my small box. Serotech. Wee! Serotech. That's it. Yeah. See? Yeah. See? See that? It's not just me. It's not just me. Come on. There's new findings, guys. New findings. Follow it. Please. All right. I, th I just think that copper grease is old news, man. Saratek, you've seen me use this many times. Just like the previous job, we want to carry on fitting premium parts. Hence why we are fitting Paget brake pads and discs on this customer's vehicle. For the eagle-eyed viewers out there, yes, I clean the disc after this B-roll. So please don't kill me. So that is us all done on this brake pads and discs for this Hyundai Tucson. Shianesht. We are now shit. I was like, that didn't take long, did it? That would be nice. Imagine if we actually get like <laughs> three mobile guys out, plus John. I wonder how quick that would be. But if we, even the clutch, man. I did that on my own. That took me about three and a half, four hours. Hour and a half, more than just, just a little bit over. Yeah. That's obviously excluding the uh, the food time as well. Yeah, drive shaft. Oh yeah. <laughs> the drive shaft, yeah, the drive. Less about that. Drive shaft repair, huh? The one that we would have been doing today. How aggressive is this once I do it? <laughs> oh, handbrake, 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 handbrake. <laughs> right, so that is us all done now. Uh, thank you to Curbside today for coming out with us. Um, nice one, good day out. Here is his YouTube channel, so it's gonna be here. Right here. Yeah. So check his YouTube channel out, uh, help him reach 1,000 uh, subscribers. So get subscribing, press this button again and uh, subscribe to him. So yeah, man, I appreciate it. Follow him on Instagram as well. And this is going to be his channel here. This, this one, thing. Uh, this one. Over there? That one, somewhere. yeah, one there. Over there? Yeah, yeah. yeah it'll one, be there somewhere. Yeah, somewhere here, somewhere. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, guys, uh, thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe and we will see you on the next one.
Peace.